In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Hallelujah. for he whom did merit to bear, Hallelujah. has risen as he said. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. For the Lord has risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. O God, who has given joy to the whole world, to the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may attain the joys of everlasting life. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for God on glad tambourines and let your trumpets sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung. From mountains high, sing a new song unto the Lord, sing hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is offered, the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. This Mass is offered for all mothers, especially those who are written on our altar. This Mass will be offered for them, whether they are living or deceased. We pray for them, that God will have mercy on them and grant them eternal happiness as we celebrate uh, Mother's Day this weekend. Dear brother, brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water He has created, with which we, we sprinkle on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Almighty ever living God, you will that water the fount of life and source of purification, even souls should be cleansed and receive the gifts of eternal life. Be pleased, we ask you, to bless this water, by which we seek protection on this very day which is yours. Renew the living spring of grace within us, and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills of spirit and body, and so approach you with heart made clean, and worthy to receive your salvation, and we ask all this for Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I saw water coming from the right side of the temple, and to whom this water arrived, they will sing with us, Alleluia, Alleluia. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you.
us pray. Grant Almighty Father that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that we may relive in remembrance we may always hold to what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up. I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 
hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's command and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my command. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I called you friends, because I told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I have chosen you and appoint you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This is my command. Love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. This is my command, love one another as I have loved you. If we take the three readings together and see what is the theme today, the theme is love. The love that we are discussing is not the love the world presents, love of interest, love of joy or happiness, but love that really is divine. In the first reading today, we encounter a beautiful uh, episode in the life of St. Peter. St. Peter was praying and all of a sudden he was asked to go to Jaffa. And there he entered the house of the centurion Cornelius. And you see the reception he has. Cornelius bend over as Peter arrived at his entrance of his house. But Peter corrected him that he is not but a human and adoration would not be given to him but to God. And as he, Peter was talking and inspired them with the gifts of faith, the Holy Spirit descend on the household of Cornelius. The same experience that the apostles have in the Seneca on the day of Pentecost. Peter felt this presence of the Holy Spirit. And although Cornelius was a Gentile, and believe me, the Gentiles were not part of the church at the time, Peter said, God has no partiality. God does not look at faces. He does not look at color or race. He, live, he, he looks at people of faith. And what is preventing us to give this household the waters of baptism? And that is the experience of Peter 
that later on he is going to relay it to the Council of Jerusalem to open the doors for the Gentiles to be part of the Christian community. In the Gospel today, we find Jesus today speaking at the Last Supper. And he's trying to endorse the command of the Father that he has brought from heaven to his apostles. And then he is trying to say to them that this love of the Father is what we are all about. God created us because he loves. He does not need me or any one of us to make him complete. God created the world not to make him perfect because he was perfect in itself, but he created out of love. God redeemed us not because we need, we, he needs to redeem us, because God loves us. And because he loves us, he does not want us to be lost. So today Jesus is speaking about the experience of the Father. And he said, if you love, you accept the one that the Father has sent. His word, W-O-R-D in the word. And the word, W-O-R-D, is Jesus Christ himself. When he speaks, accept the word. Accept me as come from the Father. And I come from the Father to speak to you only what I have heard from the Father. I cannot give you different direction. I am not going to tell you a different way. I am going to talk to you what the Father has instructed me to say to you. And what the instruction of the Father is, that, he lo that God loved the world so much that he gave you his only son. And whoever believes in him will have life eternal. He continue to speak about this love and say, if you love me, because now love has a reciprocal, reciprocal answer, not just one love is like a husband and a wife, not just the husband love or the wife love, but mutually they love each other. And so is the relationship that we have with God. Not only God loves us, but in return we have to love Him. And in order to love Him, we need to understand the, import the importance of this, great, of this great command. If you love me, you keep my command. And what is the command that God is giving us to obey? To love God with all your heart, and to love brothers and sisters as thyself. This is what really John in the Gospel today is trying to hammer down and really bring it to our focus. Because if we love God and keep his command, the Father and the Son will come and dwell within us through the power of the Holy Spirit that he will give us in the waters of baptism and also in confirmation. Not only he will give us the Holy Spirit, but whatever we ask the Father in his name, in the name of Jesus, he will grant it to us. So look how much privileges we are going to have if we really accept and obey the command of the Lord. Not only we are going to, ab to abide in him, not only he's going to abide in us, but everything that we request from him, the Father is going to give us because of this great love he has for his son, the word become flesh, the word incarnate. St. John today in the second reading, he tried to explain to us about this love too. That the love of the Father is so powerful that he loves us before we loved him. In fact, when he loves us, we were sinners. And because we were sinners, now he elevates us now to the grace of God, to the grace of, of the res resurrection and the uh, redemption and resurrection of as his sons and daughters. We are not anymore slaves, but now we become his friends. I don't call you a slave because a slave does not know what the master is about. I call you my friends because I have revealed to you the secret of secrets that I have received from the Father. So if you look at the three readings today, they all speak about that love. Not love that we, sometimes human, try to understand. I love you because I have interest in you. 
that you are going to give me a return. I love you because you are going to make me happy. I love you because, you know, your relation with me is going to be grant me many favors. No. The love of God is disinterested. There is no greater love than this, than one lay down his life for the one he loves. Many times, you know, we think that love is by saying hello to people and by, you know, be kind to people and do this to... No! That we are going to have the love of Jesus Christ. That love of Jesus Christ that even issue forth. That I will go down in order that you can go up. You say, you Father, but you don't understand. Every one of us has pride. Every one of us, you know, does not want to put himself as a carpet. Everyone needs to be, you know, acknowledged. I understand perfectly. That is the human nature. But in order to show that true love is not how much you say with your lips, but you meant them with your heart. And that love is show not how much I say, but in the way I live it. The way I share it with others. The way I am going to be there for others. How many times you hear people say, well, Father, you know, I do all these things because people love me. Because they really love me. They love you because you give them. They love you because you go out, out of your way to do something for them. Or they love, or you love them because in them you see the Lord Jesus. How many times I hear, I hear people, especially uh, husband and wife, but Father, my husband is a good man. I know he does not go to church. I know that he does not, you know, pray too much. But he is a man that he give you his shirt off his back. That is not love. The true love that we are talking about is divine love. Is love that is is directed to Jesus, from Jesus, and continue to, to, to manifest itself. It's not because I am humanistic. I am doing this because I love people, or because I cannot stay alone at home. I have to be around people, or a people loves me for what I do to them. In other words, you already have your glorification. Jesus said, whenever you do something, don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Why? Because you already have your recompense in this life. Whatever you do, do it in the eyes of the hidden of your eyes, Father. And he who see what is hidden, he will reward you at the end. How many times we find people that say, well, you know, after all, I do not, do not do any harm to people, but I don't want to associate with certain people. That's not the true love. Look at the cross. What is the first word that comes from the cross? The first one that word comes from the cross is forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they are doing. Do they know what they are doing? Definitely, yes, they know what they were doing. But Jesus excused them in front of the Father. That's true love. Not to love your friends, but to love even your enemies, which is very, very hard. One of the, one of the hardest things in our Christian values. Remember that the church has before and after. Easter. Before Easter we fast, before Easter we pray, before Easter we make sacrifices, after Easter we celebrate and we give glory to God. Why? Because before Easter is our time here on earth. The Lenten season is here on earth. We are making penance, we are praying, we are making a lot of sacrifice. After Easter is what's going to happen and what is going to be our future in the life eternal. To glorify God and to sanctify him for all he has accomplished for our salvation. So what is the lesson we learn from this? The lesson is that God gave us the commandment divided into two. The first three directed to him. Love God with all mind and heart. Do not curse him. Do not put his name in vain. Honor him on the Sabbath. Give him his due on the day of the Lord. The other seven is the relationship we have with others. And so the command of God is to love God and to love neighbor. That is the key. But to love is not words. 
Love is action. What's good it is that you say, I really, I really loved your mother when she was living. And then I show you a picture of my mother and say, oh, she's ugly. What a contradiction. You loved my mother when she was living, but now her image made, make you cold. Not to love. The same thing with God. How much we say, I love God, I love God, I love God. But God does not, we don't see him with the eye. You know where we see God? We see God in each one of us. If the love that we have for each other is not, as we say, uh, vertical and, uh, and authentic, I will not believe that you love God in uh, the, the vertical way. No. St. John said, if you don't love your brother that you see, how can I believe that you love God that you never see? The true love. This weekend we are celebrating a great love, and that love is the love of a mother. A mother that loves and her love is different from the love of each of, that we can see in this, in this face of the earth. Nobody loves like a mother loves. And God himself is trying to reward us and give us a taste of love in the mothers he gave us in this life. But even he knows that a mother can be a human being and sometimes abandon her own. As scripture said in one in the in the verse of Isaiah, even if a mother reject her son, I will never reject you. And that's why from the cross he gave us his very mother, whose her interest is to make us reach heaven. That's her interest. What do you think is her visit to, the, to this world was? To tell us how wonderful we are? To remind us of the gospel. To remind us of, the, of eternal life. To remind us that her son has suffered, not in vain, but has suffered to save you and me. And because she loves us so much, she will not take no for an answer. And she will be after us to give us chance after chance so the mercy of her son will be poured upon us so that at the end of the journey we are not going to be condemned but we are going to be with her and all the saints in heaven who knows and live the true love. God bless you. Thank you. And together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who, who proceeds from, from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus left us the command to love one another. Out of love for one another, we ask God's blessing upon our neighbors for the universal church that we may share generously with those who suffer from want, embody our Lord's command to love one another and show the way to the Father by our love. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every nation on earth may act uprightly, working to bring justice and peace to all nations let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, grandmothers, and all those mothers throughout our lives, for all our mothers who have passed away to eternity, that God may find favor in them 
Let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. That, they, that we may appreciate the service provided to us by those who have made a commitment to serve those situations and respond us, especially the fire, firefighters, police, officers, and social workers. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For this community that we may come to know the heart of Jesus' word to his disciples, to keep his command and remain in God's love, let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have been infected by the virus, that God may heal them. We continue to pray for Holly and for also for Carmen Scafidi and for all those who ask us to remember them. I pray also for those who have uh, left us by, because of this virus. Uh, that the Lord may have mercy on their souls and pray for those ones that left behind that God may give them peace let us pray the Lord Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer Heavenly Father your son told his disciples to bear fruit at last that whatever they ask of him he will grant it to them help us to bear lasting fruit in this world and grant our needs according to your will to Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we acceptable by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praising glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Amen. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be comforted to the, to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity in life is restored to us in Christ Jesus. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly power, the angelic host, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the He who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Father, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. He gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more he gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, all mothers, for whom this Mass is being offered, especially those who are on our altar. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember especially those who are dear to us. In Nanna Capilla Lia Paulica Tia Maria Tia Popol Manuel, Censa Casataregiani Signor Alicia, Giovanni, Joe, Victor, Rosario, Don Sal, Don Giuseppe, Don Nath, Don Michiel, Don Nazaren, Don Eric, Patri, Martin, Patri, Care, Giorgia, Michiel, Mary, Jane, Marie, Eva, Regina, Andy, Janet, Mary, Carol, Jack, Marie, the Secretary of St. Jude's, who was buried this week, and all those who are, all the souls, especially those who died from the virus. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, especially with St. George Preca, whom tomorrow is the anniversary of his, uh, of his canonization, 20 years ago, and with all the saints who have, blessed, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin. Save from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance to your will, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Ule Jesu Christo bin Allah al-Hai bin Lautia kifid min yakin nisir. Bil hidmat al-Spiritu Santo in taat al-Hai al-Dinya. Now just now with them, I just hear that this is not the only thing that is going to happen. Art new for that man. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et sanguinem Domini Jesu Christi, custodia vita eterna. Communion as a father. If you love me, keep my commandments, says the Lord, and I will ask the Father, and he will send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Hallelujah. <coughs> body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. O may them as Sophia Christo the Hetonica the Silic of the Metal Passionity of Rock the Trabil Hyde and Batil on the Hawks in the Senna, Udanan to Kurlo, Nitor Venice Santis Musagramenta Lagi, Page with Sultan or Day and Tadeim, Grazie Signorella, Rockfield the Signorella. ولينا من في كل قبرتا ولينا ما في كل كنينا ولينا هو في كل شكل كنهم من جنا شريف تقف من بيت كل كتيبه هني عدي شروب الشجر من تير كل دوسيه Let us pray.
Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of your Son. Increase in us, we pray, the fruit of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our heart the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And will may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, Amen. the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the witness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And may the prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. You pass those papers, Martha, that you have next to you, to the people. Who left? The papers here. No, the music. Are there any extra? They had the library. We need papers here. Come on. I just need one over here, and and one for the brother. No. Just uh, give it to her. Give it to her. Thank you. We are going to crown the Blessed Mother now. It is the first Saturday of um, the feast of, our, of of all mothers, and she is our mother. And together we pray, we sing together. Bring flowers from the earth. Bring flowers of the fairest. Bring flowers of the rarest. From garden and woodland and hillside and vale, our full hearts are swelling and glad voices telling the praise of the loveliest rose of the vale. O Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May, O Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May. Act of consecration to Our Lady, Most Holy, Holy and Immaculate Virgin. You were chosen by God to conceive and bear a son, and give him the name Jesus. Hear the prayers rising from every heart gathered here today. Unite all of us with you and your son, so that one day, happy with you, we may repeat before your throne the hymn that which today is sung on earth around your altars. You are beautiful, Mary. You are the honor of our people. On this day, O oh beautiful mother. On this day, O oh beautiful mother. On this day, we give you our love. Dear be Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care. On this day, we ask to share, dearest mother, thy sweet care. Aid us ere our feet astray, wander from thy kind on this day, O oh beautiful mother, on this day, we give you our love. Dearly, Madonna, on me we offer, trusting God I And let the perpetual and light shine upon you. Amen. rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed for the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen.